Hey guys, Rob Bone here, IMX Productions, and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Uh, we're gonna do something fun here. We're gonna take a look at this screenshot of Thor from, uh, I believe, from that's from Thor 2. And we're gonna replace his hammer with his new hammer, Stormbreaker. After that, we're going to see what kind of fun variations we can come up with. And obviously, this is basically a tutorial for uh, photo manipulation. We're gonna be removing the hammer from his hand and then putting something else in. Um, so as Obviously, very many applications this can be used for, for doing all sorts of photo manipulation, okay? So here is the photo that we're using. First thing we wanna do is remove the hammer. So I like to duplicate layers. I always duplicate layer just, to, just so that you've got the original in case you ever need to go back and do something. Grab that lasso tool, and then we're gonna make a loose selection around the hammer. Start with the top of the hand, okay? Remember to hit uh, shift to Get the plus sign to add to the selection, or option or alt to remove from the selection. Okay, so top of the hammer, we're then gonna go to image, sorry, edit, fill, make sure content aware is selected, hit okay. And we're gonna see how well that did. Now that's surprisingly well. See that tree in the back? It actually did a pretty good job of filling it in. You could always adjust that with the clone tool if you didn't think it wasn't good enough. Let's do the same with the bottom. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to work out with that sword. We might have to fill in that sword manually. Uh, let's try it. Hit fill, content aware. Wow, that's surprisingly good with the content aware tool. It actually filled in the sword for us. Excellent. Okay, so right there, we're pretty good. Okay. Okay, now we just got to fix a little area above the, because it always kind of blurs next to fine lines like that. So we're going to grab the clone tool and we're gonna sample an area around and then we're just gonna just finally fix that area around his thumb. Do the same at the bottom. So select loosely where his hand should be. Clone tool, sample, and draw away. And there you go. We've successfully removed the hammer. Mjolnir is gone. We are ready to put in whatever we want. Now we're gonna do a few things first. And we're just gonna fill in kind of that, because depending on what we're adding, it might have a, a, a smaller handle. So what we wanna do is just kind of sample his skin tone a little bit, and then draw in. It's not gonna look great, but remember, we're gonna be covering that with whatever we decide to put in his hand. But just draw in the skin tone a bit, just in case our handle is smaller and it doesn't fit fully. So we've got something, something to work with. The next thing we need to do is basically the part of his hand that will be on top of the handle. We need to get that in there. So I'm gonna create another layer. So I'm gonna duplicate the R layer, and then I wanna do a selection around the hand. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here, but essentially grab your lasso tool or magnetic or whichever one you wanna use, and um, put maybe a one point feather on it. I, I tend to try to stay away from uh, really sharp selections. I always put one or two point feather, but that's preference. Okay, so don't go down here and hit a mask. Now the idea here is that that's gonna appear, see just this hand will appear on top of whatever we add there. So uh, to give you an idea, if I were to basically create a new layer, put a little yellow thing in there, uh, and if that was our object, and I just skew it, put it in there, there we go. And that would be, see how it covers perfectly? That would be our object. All right. So here I've got a, found this on, online, just a picture of a, a model of Stormbreaker. Let me just skew it a little bit because um, I think the, it's a little small in the handle, small in the, in the axis. And we're just gonna move that into position. Perfect. Now what you wanna do is just go ahead and uh, do your image adjustments. So you're retouching. So we want to use color balance. We want to use curves and we want to use hue and saturation. Those are mainly the three that I like to use. And you just play around with it until you've matched the, um, the kind of the tint of the scene. So here I've got some yellows in there. So with the color balance, I'm moving from the, away from the blue, a bit more towards yellow because it's got a kind of a yellowish tint. Well, what we can do is we can add a bit of shadowing. We're going to add an adjustment layer. We're going to add curves. Um, we're gonna drop the, that curve till it's quite dark. Just like that, pretty dark. There we go. Okay, close that, fill it black, 
And then we grab our brush. Low opacity. Low hardness, low opacity. And then we just draw kind of right behind the fingers. So it creates a bit of shadowing right where there'd be shadow from him holding. Perfect, there we go. So, okay, so there you go. So now that we've done that, we've created our template basically because there's only one, the uh, Stormbreaker axe is only one layer. So we remove that layer, we've got the hand, we've got the selection around, we've even got the shadowing, everything is in place. All you gotta do is find an object you wanna put in there, put it in, um, place it properly, the shadowing's already there, you just have to adjust the tint, adjust the, the image so it looks like it's actually part of the scene, and that's it. So, there we have it. Okay guys, so, that's it, that's the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know which one was your favorite. What would you like to see uh, Thor holding as opposed to his hammer? Let me know in the comments below. Um, please guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified whenever we do new videos. Follow me on Instagram. I always post lots of cool content on there. And um, we will see you next time, okay? Cheers.